there, ladies and gentlemen, and it is me, Will Pat Twenty One, and this is my first episode of me talking. Welcome back, and today I thought, since you know the whole presidential debate's been going on, and I thought we'd draw a couple characters today. So, first one I actually have is on the Democratic side. This might be a big photo, so you know it's gonna take a while to load. But, I've missed you guys. I've been busy a lot. You know, that's why I haven't posted a whole lot of videos. But I'm excited. Got a new program. Got a new setup. I'm really excited. So, let's see here. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a giant photo. Let's shrink this baby down a little bit. Just a tad. Just a bit. Perfect. Perfect. So this will just be a reference photo. I know I've been doing two different styles lately, as you guys have seen. I've done the where I kind of just used camp and did I drew over the lines and colored them in, and then I did a freestyle. I didn't know which one you guys liked better, so I thought, you know, what if I do a commentary kind of freestyle type thing? You know, go from there. So as you can see, the shape of his head is more oval like two circles almost like it's a big circle up top and then like a little fat circle on the bottom so you know I I've been so glad I'm just so glad I'm back guys I'm so happy I love this new program I mean it works wonders it really does um let's see get as big always um um, tell me what you think of this program. I mean, I really like it. Um, you know, oh, oops. it's just a great program to work on. So, you know. Little psycho dogs in the background. Okay, now let's get his, like, little... He's not fat, but he's got, you know, his chain going. Okay, I'm making, like, a little pop going there. He's got a bigger nose, so let's kind of work on that. So... Right, right about there. Maybe even smaller than that. Let's go smaller, actually. Sorry, it's my dogs going nuts over here. So let's go, like, right there. Perfect. I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a great parrot. So, we kind of got the nose. We'll fix the nose up a little bit, because... That's probably where I need to work on is just noses in general. Because it's tricky. You know, working on them. And then at the end, you know, I'll do a kind of, um, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, just an outline just so it looks a little bit cleaner. You know what I mean. So let's give him his little lip. Uh, for teeth, it's kind of, we don't want to make them look so partially huge, you know, you know what I mean. So we want to kind of keep them nice and clean. There we go. I do a kind of like, you know, specky type clean. And then we've got the sides of his glasses. And then, you know. Okay, so do like a quick, we want to make it like quick so it kind of gives off that, you know, giant overall thing to it. You know what I mean? Mm. I keep saying that. I know. I know. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? See, it gives it that more thin outlook like, hey, you know, I mean business with these glasses. Man. And then we'll do like a little clean thing. And then I was like, add this in a kind of a sketch. There we go. You'll see what that is later when we're coloring. Okay, let's. I might fix the sides just a bit because I made I made him a look look just a little hefty. He's not that hefty you now. I want to be somewhat nice to him. Somewhat nice to the guy. There we go. Okay. There we go, and then the other side. So, um. I have been trying other programs. As you can see, I'm using, at the current moment, I am using 
Adobe Flash. I used to use GIMP, which is a big program. I really liked it just because of how free it used to, just because it was free and it just was worked in my budget. And ever since I've tried um, Adobe Flash, I like it. Of course, right now I'm on the free trial, which is, you know, the only pay. Because I've just, cost wise, it's pretty expensive. I mean, to, to a, a monthly subscription, it's just, it can be very tricky at some times. I just wish they did, uh, I wish they did like a one, one sale, one sale, I guess you could call it. Basically, meaning, um, for a flat rate, like, you know, a hundred bucks or something like that. Versus the, uh, uh, 30 bucks or some craziness like that a month. Which is just right where I am right now, just not in my budget. If I get more followers, or more subscribers, then it could be in my budget. But, you know, I just have to, just gotta work, you know. It's progress. It's a work in progress. It just takes time. Hopefully, though, you know, everything will work out. So, kind of going with a different theme of the hair. There's a lot of stray hair in this picture. So, I thought I'd try to cancel that out with some thicker hair. I might trim it down in the overdraft just because it looks a little too much too thick. And that's just because I think I'm just trying to lay it off too much. And there we go. On the coloring, I'll try to, um, I'll probably speed that up when we do the coloring. You just don't hear me dragging on the whole time. There we go. Alright. So now let's work on our, on the outline. Go. See, okay, I use gray obviously to get a nice first pick of it just because I think it's a nice, um, nice little gray. I like it. I sometimes use it as the final for my project, but I just think it's nice. And then I, the only reason I use blue for like what we're doing right now is just because I've seen a lot of other um, people that use it. And I like it. I really do. I think it looks good. I see people who do animations. Like I did, you know, my short little animation. And it was alright. I mean, definitely could have been better. I think it was just really short. Just because I'm not used to doing those types of animations. I'm used to more, more drawing type things. And to do an animation like that it was pretty cool. Just, just because it was my first time with this program and I thought you know why not try so I looked up a tutorial and there's this actually watch this video from this girl which I suggest you go check out if you if you like animations I suggest checking her out just just because you know she was really cool and her name is cute c3 you might have heard of her you may or may not depending how you got to my account she does a lot of the team fortress drawings and I think those are really cool that's how I learned to do my first um, initial animation. She had a nice little short animation that really helped time-wise just because I didn't want to spend like a day or so working on this and I thought if I can just do a quickie. Hers is, I actually did use the, there's in the tutorial there's a, a Team Fortress voice uh, you use and um, I, use, I ended up using it just because, as you can hear of my quality audio, it's not the dang greatest. And I need to get a mic. That's my thing. I need to get a mic. Again, cost-wise, just not in the budget. And um, I'm just, right now, I just need to, um, I'm so focused on other stuff that I just need to look at that kind of stuff. Um, as you can tell it's a little screechy I guess you could say screechy it's in like in my channel trailer you could hear it in my channel trailer how weird it sounds uh, it's funny it's so funny 
Yeah, but I like it. I think you when you're talking, you get to interact more with the audience. I think that's really neat. I think that is something a lot of YouTubers, you know, do. As you can see, gamers and other things like that. I think that's something smart to do. So, if you're ever thinking about doing that kind of thing, I'd look into it. It's really nice. Um, I, I've i had a mic for a while, but I didn't really want to uh, use it. I just thought, you know, music was kind of a nice change in the background. So, see, I shortened down the hair quite a bit. I thought, if we make it a little bit smaller, it won't be as noticeable. But it's just kind of hard just because his hair is so different. I just need a... When I color it, I'll probably do it differently. Yeah, I'll make it look more traditional, I guess you could say. There we go. And then, as you can see, I change things up as we go. And then, this is like a little bit of a kind of. This is basically what it's gonna look like. So. What I'm going to do is, all I need to do now is look at it. Okay, I forgot some lines. See, that's why you always check. Because if you don't, you're going to miss a lot of lines. See, I didn't give his age. Okay. <laughs> My drunk skills on point. Okay, there we go. And then all I... We'll see you when I'm done coming. And here we go, folks. Here's our Bernie L. Bernie Sanders. Let's write that. Shall we? See, okay. See, what I do for this program now is that I... What I do is... El Bernie. Ay, ay, ay. What I do is, if you see the shading, I'm still working on it. You see how it's kind of smoothened out. What I do is, I, I see I messed up in the corner, but like right here. What I do is I take something like that, and I'll go to GIMP, and I'll actually try to smoothen it out. I've been working on it. It's still a complicated process, but here's your El Bernie. So, you're voting for El Bernie over here. Here's him for you. So, I thought, last but not least. Gotta do somewhere else. Because, you know, time wise. So I'm gonna do a quickie. And I'm gonna draw. Who should we draw? People want me to draw another president. Or not president, but someone that's running. Let's go with. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. Do like. Let's do, let's do this one. This is actually perfect. Let's see. Maybe. Ta da da. Cruz. So, I'll put it right there. And <laughs> let's begin building this unique, we'll call it unique base. base of head. As you can see, he has an interesting kind of go at it. Uh, I'm going to try to make this one a little more, not detailed, but somewhat more accurate. Ugh, number one. Right. I'm liking this one. Yeah. El Confidente. Work. 
There we go. There we go. And you gotta give it a weird <laughs> smile. I don't even it's like. Eh. Oh, I actually like that. I like it like that. That's perfect. I'm just gonna. I always do like for the body. I don't usually try to make it so realistic. Um, I mean, you can if you want, but that's not what I always do. I just kind of do a rough sketch of the body and do anything. Y'all didn't hear anything. There we go. I'm actually liking this one. Let's see if I can get more like a. Yes! I'm liking it. I'm liking it, guys. Alright, so now let's create a new layer, which let's get rid of these other ones. It's a new layer, and we'll do that blue again. And then let's go down. There we go. So, I mean, as far as this video goes, me talking, I know there's a channel very. I'm, there's a channel basically it's the same thing as what I'm doing right now, which is the Drawfee channel, if you heard of it. Again, another one of those channels where you should check them out. They, actually the guy Caldwell, he actually does drawings for um, College Shooter, which is a very popular song. I find him, his uh, videos pretty cool, because he does it with his friends and stuff, and you know, that's pretty cool to see when people get to do it with their friends. My friends, yeah, not the old drawing type, but you know, it's okay. Cause you know, I got this. You know? Just kidding. Keep, you gotta stop that habit, don't I? Okay, okay, there we go, there we go, folks, there we go, folks, we got them drawings going here, okay, 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 I'm gonna try to get one of my friends to do one of these videos, I actually have a friend that does drawing, or gaming videos, so I'm gonna try to see if he can do a drawing video, I thought that'd be kind of, kind of neat to do, with a friend, let's see how it looks. I really like this one. I think it's going to turn out good. And I will see you when I'm done with the L coloring. And there you have it, folks. Uh, nicely drawn Ted Cruz. Uh, when I used GIMP this time, the only real thing was that it made the lines a little out of place. But other than that, shading came out a little bit nicer. I think. For where I'm at, I'll, you know, I just gotta work on it. But it's definitely getting together. So I mean, this was this was something. This was fun. I will have to say, it was s really fun. So all I need you to do now is get a giant, a giant like. That'd be much appreciated. And, um, see, if you look down there also, there's a subscribe button. If you could hit that, that would be great. And, I mean, just tell me what you thought of this video. Suggestions on who I should draw next. Just com comment. You actually gotta comment. None of you ever comment. Alright? So, make sure to do that. Alright, and I'll see you guys.